hi. And hello from me too. In this video, we are going to have a little coffee talk about the results those were getting who tried my routine to better FPS in Star Citizen. If you haven't had a look, I put the link below, you are invited to watch that video first. At the end of this video, I also will give you three more tweaks to try out that had some very interesting results on my end, so stay tuned for that, I'm eager to hear about your experience with this. First, thanks. Done for some friends in the first place and now I got this much nice feedback and factual discussion. And a big thanks for all of you who took your time telling me my English is okay enough to do this stuff. I really appreciate your feedback. There's more coming up in the next weeks. We are planning on doing guides on flight tactics for bounty hunting, dual joystick flight, testing and using the Toby eye tracker, how to get the game running in VR. And if we manage this, this would be really awesome a story-driven guide series in a way this was never done before. So if you haven't done this already, hit that damn like, subscribe and bell buttons. Thank you. Um, sure, thank you for mentioning that. But uh, let's get back to the topic. First, impact of server performance. Regarding all we are going to discuss here, we have to keep in mind that the server performance still is the most limiting factor. With version 3.3, there was a workaround that allowed us to play single player and our FPS went up from 30 to 100. So this is still the biggest limiter. Second topic, full screen versus borderless. There's a nice discussion going on and some players, though it seems to be a minority, as many reported to me that Borderless had their game's performance quite a bit, have better FPS in full screen mode. Third topic. More than 16 gigs of RAM. What most players tend to agree with, it does not give you higher maximum FPS, but more stable FPS. Having a look at FPS alone, faster RAM seems to beat higher RAM in Star Citizen. Regarding the stabilities though, higher RAM seems to be worth an upgrade. This all will not have an impact if the motherboard cannot handle it. One more important thing about this at the end. Fourth topic. Agreeing on disabling Windows Game Bar, giving more FPS and setting power management mode to prefer maximum performance and turning off FOIP. It seems we all have agreed here. Disable what is not needed and runs in the background seems to have a nice impact. Fifth topic. Disable full screen optimization. Why this? It's a new presentation mode that is intended to combine the best of both windowed and full screen exclusive modes. Standard full screen windowed mode passes everything through the desktop compositor which forces triple buffered vsync to be used and adds a frame of latency. This new presentation mode can bypass the compositor, reducing latency and allowing you to disable vSync. Full screen window mode games are also handled slightly differently with this enabled. So long as there are no windows overlaying the game, they can also bypass the compositor and disable vSync. Now, like I promised, some more tweaks to try out. First tweak, update your motherboard's drivers. I swear I already thought I had kept everything updated, but no, I had not. I had not thought about my motherboard drivers at all and this bottled my graphics card and my RAM's performance. So I invite you to have a look into this. Second, set low latency mode to ultra in manage 3D settings. Having less latency on your screen seems to reduce the stuttering you get sometimes. Third. Set G-Sync and V-Sync both enabled in the driver if you have a very fast GPU. This is reported to have a good impact, at least if you're still using full screen. Last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Carolinga, who has a video guide coming up on how to make Star Citizen look even more beautiful. He has a wonderful channel he updates frequently with most interesting Star Citizen stuff, so check him out. Link below. 
As mentioned, more to come up here in the near future. Thanks for watching and see you in the verse.